Well, hey guys, back so soon? Alright, we are on chapter 22 of Genesis, the New International Version, 1984. Abraham tested. Verse 1. Sometime later, God tested Abraham. He said to him, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Then God said, Take your son, your only son Isaac, whom you love, and go to the re regime of Morah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains I will tell you about. Early the next morning, Abraham got up and saddled his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaiah. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servant, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, said to his father Abraham, Father, yes, my son, Abraham replied. The fire and wood are here, Isaac said, but where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. And the two of them went on together. When they reached the place, God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the fire on it. He brought his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. He, then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied, do not lay a hand on the boy, he said. Do do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Abraham looked up and there was a thicket. He saw a ram. Caught it by its horn, he went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide. And to this day it is said, on the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sands on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of your enemies of their enemies and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me then Abraham returned to his servants and they set off together for Beersheba and Abraham stayed in Beersheba Nahor son sometime later Abraham was told Milcah is also a mother she has borne sons to your brother Nahor Uz, the firstborn, Buz, Buz, his brother, Kemal, the father of Aram, Kesed, Hezo, Pildash, Jidlof, and Bethel. Bethel became the father of Repka. Milcah bore these eight sons to Abraham's brother Nahor. His concubine, whose name was Reham, also had sons, Tabah, Gom, Tasha, and Makkah. And that ends chapter 22 of Genesis. Wow. Abraham was definitely a mighty man. He had the cojones to stand up to God in, in chapter 20, I believe it was, and, you know, 
about Sodom and Gomorrah and he was going to sacrifice his only son with Sarah to please God. What would you do? I guess if God told me to sacrifice Joey and I knew for sure that it was God telling me I guess I would do what I was told to do but I'd make a hundred percent certain that I knew it was Joe or I knew it was God that would be a hard thing but I guess times were a lot different back then so leave me your thoughts what would you do if you were in Abraham's shoes would you question the Lord or would you just do it yourself let me know alright guys love you bye for now see you in a few